Hello guys, welcome back to Control Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Super Mega Baseball 4 having crashing issue it is not launching, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now. The game right now I'm shooting from here, the game has not yet released but I'm having this one which is called uh, you know uh, that's called uh, the EA pass so using this I can play the game 10 hours before so if you search for baseball over here you can see that even if I go at over here it will be understood that I'm getting the play now options because I'm having EA play subscription so I'm just playing the game right now so far the game is so good so you have to try this for sure and this is actually one of the best game I have played so far so without wasting time, let me directly get into the topic. The first one is all about when you're having an issue like crashing, all these kind of issues, you have to start with a simple restart and that's what you have to do. Try with a simple restart and simple restart is sometimes an awesome solution. So for that, just go over here, click on this one, go for a simple restart. Once you're done with the restart, try launch the game and that's going to work for you as well. Just start with a restart. Once after that, if it's still not working, then we just have to move to the next one. That is, we need to go for verify integrity of game file. For that, we just need to go over here in the search that is Super Mega Baseball 4. Right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here, go to local file. Now from here, click on verify integrity of game file. So just click on this one. So what happens is actually this is a very important step because if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, we will be definitely having the issue such as crashing, note load, uh, loading and even not launching, freezing, stuttering, black screen, all these kind of issues including FPS drop. So it is an important thing that we have to make sure the no files in our game is manipulated or it's not connected. Simultaneously, it's not having an issue. So the verify integrity of game file, when you do this, that's going to fix all the issue. This will be cross-checking every single files and that's going to fix this up. So you can try with the verify integrity of game file. Once after that, just go over here in the game, click on the play button and try launch the game. And that's going to work for you for sure. Moving to the next one, let this get completed. We have to wait this to reach 100% date, so I'm going to wait for this. And we have to go for next one. And next one is all about we have to try with launch the game from the installation folder. Right now, as you can see, we are launching the game from Steam, which is causing the issue. So if that is the case, we need to try launch the game from the installation folder. For that, we just need to click over here, right click and go to the properties. Now go to local file. There is an option called browse. Just click on this one. As you can see, we are very easily redirected to the installation folder. If you look at the top, that is this PC, local to C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common super mega baseball 4 and you can see the application so just launch the game from here instead of launch the game from the insta uh, from the steam try launch the game from here this didn't work out for many users and you can try this out there is also this is actually a shortcut from the steam that take you directly to this and apart from this we can navigate to the installation folder using file explorer like this just go to this one go to this pc now click on local to see go to program file x86 now go to Steam option over here. Now go to Steam apps. Go to common. Now from here we have to go to the game. That is baseball. Just go at the top. So over here if you go at the top you will be able to find it. Okay. Super mega. So we have to go over here. Now launch the game. That's what we have to do. So this is also an easiest way. You can go to the file explorer, you can navigate to the installation folder because down the road we need to know how to navigate to the installation folder. So just click on this one and let's move to the next step. The next step is all about is all about we need to do the run the game as an administrator. For that we just need to click over here, right click and go to properties. Now from here go to local file. Now from here click on the browse that will very easily redirect it to the installation folder. Now you can see the application, select this one, right click and go to show more options, go to properties and go to compatibility. Now from here, click on run this program as an administrator. So this is what you have to do. When you run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for okay and try launch the game. That's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. For that, we just need to right click over here, go to show more options, properties. Once again, go to compatibility. 
now from here go to compatibility run this program in compatibility mode select this one first go for windows 7 and go for apply and go for ok and if that's not working try with windows 8 as well go for apply and go for ok and see whether the issue is solved if the issue is not solved and then we have to move to next step but keep in mind you have to undo this if that is the case just undo this one keep print this program as an administrator that is fine but just undo this one go for apply go for ok and close everything and go back and try launch the game that's gonna work for you as well next one is all about make sure the windows language is english as you can see you here getting everything in english and that is what we have to do so if you're having an issue with english then we have to change this to english for that just go over here in the search go for settings click on time and language over here go to language and region now from here as you can see we have to the language is being set into english united states but same way we have to set this up just click on add language and search for english so if the english is not being set we have to set this up and once after that just make sure the country or region is correct so i'm from india so i have to select india so you should be doing the same so if you're from usc and you're selecting another country that might be the issue so just select the respective geographical country where you are actually living right now and once after that just go back and make sure the date time is an important factor as well so as you can see the time zone is actually turned off so this might cause the issue up so you have to make sure the time as well as this time zone should be totally correct this should be make sure this is correct and once after that just close this and go back and try launch the game and you have to play the game as well going to the next one is all about we need to launch the game and you have to press alt and tab together for so just click on the play button over here but the moment when you're clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard that's gonna work for you for sure this did work it for many users so you can try this out as well just click on the play button and press alt and tab from the keyboard that's gonna work for you as well moving to the next one is all about we have to try with deleting the saved game file for that we just need to go over here in the file explorer go to this pc go to documents over here now if you find the folder just delete it and once you delete the folder you'll be losing all the progressions but that is fine just delete the game once after that just close everything and go back and try launch the game that's gonna work for you if that is not the case we have to find uh, the solution which is all about we have to go for allow the game to windows security for that we just need to go over here in the search go for so uh, over here we have to search for control panel now from here go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow and import feature through windows defender firewall now from here if you scroll down you have to navigate to s because it starts with you know it's an alphabet so alphabetical order so just keep scrolling down and navigate to s and here you will be able to find it that is over here you will be most probably able to find it that is super mega baseball for is actually added keep in mind when you find this you have to make sure the private and public is as well added so if that is not not the case we need to add it manually the next one is all about if the game is not here we can add it manually for that we just need to click on allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local dc go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder over here now go to steam apps now go to common now from here we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to super over here you'll be fine super mega baseball select this one go for open and add it so i'm getting the error because it's already added so i'm going to show you how to add it if it's not there so just add the game and once after that just close everything go back and try launch the game if not we'll move to the next step that is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices so some of you guys might be playing the game with the usb uh, I mean uh, with the controllers and some of you guys might be connected to any other peripherals like Logitech wheels or you might be playing you might be playing the dual monitors or whatever it may be just remove everything from the USB port once you remove everything from the USB port all you have to do the first one just launch the game after game is successfully launched and if you still wanted to play the game with the controllers because especially the games like this is very good with the controllers just click on the play button and try playing the game that's gonna work very easily because even i tried to play the game with the keyboard and mouse it was fantastic so you can try playing the game with the controllers if that is the case to remove everything from the usb port launch the game and once after that just connect back the controller and try launch the game that's gonna work for you as well move to the next step is all about we need to try with a perform a clean boot 
that's an important step for the just go over here in the search and we have to go to system configuration go for services and over here just need to select this and go for disable all go for apply and go for okay that's gonna ask you for a restart so hence we are in the middle of video i'm gonna go for exit without restart but for those users who are watching this video they're gonna go for restart and once you're done with the restart just launch this team try launch the game that's gonna work for you as well if that is not the case we need to keep on trying all the possible ways to fix this up so we have few more steps which did work out for many users in the past when they had this issue that is all about we need to try with roll uh, disable the steam overlay for that just select the game right click go to properties over here go to over here and make sure you just have to disable the steam overlay and once after that just go over here try launch the game if that is not working we need to go once again over here in the launch option just another step where we have to give few commands the first one is all about dx11 try with dx11 if dx11 is not working change it to dx12 and try launch the game either you have to try with dx11 or try with dx12 any one of the things is definitely going to work for you for sure so try with this and just remove everything once you try with this and try launch the game if even after you are still having the issue we need to move to the next one that is all about we need to close all the overlay applications for over here right click over here and go to the task manager now from here go at the top over here you will be signed we'll be able to see there are around 79 apps which is actually running in the background so these all these things are actually draining out the performance and they're going to causing us a crashing issue and some of them are really one of having a vital role which is causing the issue for sure so if that is the case you'll be able to find this if you scroll down you will be able to find many applications and there are some applications like discord which comes under the category of overlay applications and there are some applications like riva tuner msa afterburner etc that comes under the category of overclocking application which both are very unnecessary things which are running in the background that's causing this issue and if you find this just remove it from here and once after that try launch the game or not we have to move to the next step that is run the game until you get a graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search go for graphic settings now from here as you can see i have already added all the games same way we have to add it just click on the browse now from here go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam apps over here go to steam go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here we have to find the game so uh, that is super mega baseball over here select this one and add it so once you add it successfully there comes an important step just click on the options make sure this is actually let windows decide change this to high performance and this is what we have to do so if you're not changing this to high performance you'll be having an issue down the road so make sure that you have to try this out to high performance and go for save and once after that just close everything and go back and see whether the issue is solved or even if it's still not working we have to move to the next step that is all about we need to increase the virtual memory for that we just need to go over here in the search go for view advanced system settings go to the advanced go to settings once again now from here go to advanced and over here go for change and make sure this is actually blank and you have selected the local disk where the game is installed and go for the custom size we have to give the value for initial size and the maximum size so initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is three times the total ram for we need a calculator because uh, we need to do a little bit of calculation so i'm going to go with the calculator so i know what is the ram the ram of my computer is actually 32 gb so just multiply your ram with a constant value which is 1024 Okay, the value is 1024. Just multiply your RAM with 1024. That brings you this value, and you have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 49,152. Just paste it. And the maximum size is all about 32 GB into 1024. That brings you this one into 3. That brings you 98,304, and you have to paste it as well. And once you're done with them just go for ok and close everything and this is an important step this is going to definitely help you guys out so just update this as well and try launch the game next show and parallelly we have to make sure that graphics cards are up to date so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as the, for the amd so the nvidia users just have to click on the link in the description and you will be landed to this page and here you have to select every details of yours you have to select details like this now from here go to windows 11 and select everything and go for start search 
Now from here if you go for the start search and now from here you will be able to find this and the driver version is 535.98 and the released date is 13th May 2023. So if you find this just download this one and install this on your PC and try launch the game restart is a mandatory and if you're on the AMD just go to the graphics over here select every respective details and go for submit. And if you find over here Windows 11, if you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you have to download this one and try launch the game after installing the .exe and restart as a mandatory when you're installing the graphics card updates. And also parallelly after trying this, if it's still not, then we just need to add a request to Microsoft, install Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing a link in the description as well. You can download this one. And once you download this one and install this on a PC and try launch the game, that's going to work for you as well. Even after trying all these things and still it's not working, we have two major things what you have to do. The first one, make sure the Windows is up to date. So just go over here, go to settings, go to Windows update and make sure the Windows is up to date. As you can see, the updates are failed. So many of the users will be having similar situations. If that is the case, we need to fix this up because the Windows has to be in the latest versions, which is, will be helping guys out. So just update the windows and once after that last and least one if you find this all trying all these things and still it's not working then i request you need just need to go over here right click and go to the manage and install the game but we need to reinstall it back but while you are going to reinstall it back you need to make sure the game should not be installing back on the same local disk it should be depending on any other local disk. So just change the position of local disk and that's what we have to do. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with Super Mega Baseball 4. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.